Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. We're continuing to look at the second letter of Peter. It includes three chapters. Today we're going to look at some passages from chapter 2. We're going to do a fairly lengthy reading, verses 1 through 11. But I think it's important to get the entire context of what Peter says here. 2 Peter chapter 2, beginning in verse 1 and reading through verse 11 from the New King James Version. But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who, brought, who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness they will exploit you with deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down into hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood on the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, making them an example of those who afterward would live ungodly and delivered righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. And the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment, and especially those who walk according to the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise authority. They are presumptuous, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries, whereas angels who are greater in power and might do not bring a reviling accusation against them before the Lord. So much here, but very quickly, let's look at several things. First of all, let's look at the fact that there are those who are deceptive teachers. They come in and they twist and distort the truth. And he says, even denying the Lord who bought them, they even twist the truth of Jesus. And they, they bring many down in their trap. And we don't like to talk about this in our societies today. We just want to talk about everybody has their own way to love God. We don't want to point out the fact that there are those who twist the truth and bring people down and bring them to destruction. In fact, our society doesn't want to talk about the negative side at all. We want to talk about love and peace and happiness. We don't want to talk about destruction. We don't want to talk about judgment. And yet the Bible does over and over again. Why? He tells us why. That we might be warned. That we might understand that while God absolutely can, and he talks about this, deliver the righteous. He delivered Noah. He delivered Lot. But God, in the midst of that, is bringing judgment on the ungodly. And he will continue to bring judgment on the ungodly. And eventually, final judgment on the ungodly. Let us not be deceived. God does love, and God is a God of grace. But God also is a God of justice, who will bring judgment, both to those who bring others down and those who follow them. Let us be on our guard. Let us be aware. As we talked about last week with 1 Peter, be sober, be vigilant, that we don't fall into the trap and therefore stand guilty and have to face the judgment and the justice of the Almighty God. Thank you for thinking on these things and we hope you'll join us again tomorrow. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.